Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are going to be swatching, trying on, doing a full day wear test of the new Natasha Denona Diamond Blushes. This is their spring 2018 collection. I'm like very matchy matchy right now. And that was done on purpose. Um, I just love this. I got this sent to me. Now, wait chair is driving me absolutely bananas. That does not mean that I'm gonna give a great review on something. I'm gonna thoroughly test this out, see what I like, see what I don't. Uh, this is extraordinarily expensive. I don't like the price of it. In fact, I think even though Natasha Denona products are really good, I do think that she needs to calm down a little bit with the pricing, like be a little more competitive with what else is out there that is still high end and good quality. I just, there's something in it that's just a little too up there, but I still get curious because I know the quality is there with her products. Now this is a new never before seen formula. It is innovative. They are very proud of this formula. This has the diamond highlight, a blush, and then glow. I'm not quite sure what the deal is with this like bright yellow. I mean, it's very attractive, but I'm kind of like, how do you use that on the face? Do you use this on the face? Ooh, wow. We're gonna swatch everything and figure this out together. So I have the Daria palette. This is the number one. And this has more of like kind of a purpley glow. The upper left corner on both palettes is a cream. Is this a cream? Oh, that's a cream too. You have a cream highlight and a powder highlight or a diamond highlight. Look at that. Bling, 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 bling. This has actual crushed crystals in the formula. That's part of the price. That's what's so innovative. This is also talc free. It is cruelty free. It's free of oil, D5, UV filters. It's free of a lot of things that typically would be in other products like this. So there is so much thought behind these products and I love the packaging. I like that you get creams and powders and even the small detail of putting the plastic on top of the cream portion so it doesn't kind of fluff into one another and ruin the formula. The mirror is gigantic. You could travel with this and have this just be your mirror. But I don't know if it's still worth $89, even with all of that, even with the crushed crystals, but we are gonna find out and let's just scooch closer and get to application. I'm gonna start out by taking a blush shade and I'm not gonna use the cream because I am already wearing powder and I don't want to totally mess up my foundation, but I am actually kind of curious to see. That's gorgeous. It's like a very baby pink type of a shade. I am using the Daria palette, the number one, just because the shades swatched out a little bit lighter than the other palette. And I'm more interested in this purple shade than the bright yellow one, even though it's really pretty just to look at. I just think I would use this one more. So I'm gonna go in with the powder blush right here, just grab a tiny little bit, and we're gonna just go in. It's definitely a like light wash kind of a sheen type of a blush pretty. Um, it's not knocking my socks off. Okay, so now I do actually want to take a sponge and I'm going to go into the cream highlight and just grab a little bit on my sponge and just tap this on the high points of my face to see if this will work on top of everything else. And yeah, that does. Holy moly. That's effing beautiful. All right, well, if you want a glow, then this will do it, but it still looks very skin-like. It's sitting on top of powder so nicely. I'm kind of really blown away by that. Okay, and for a highlight, I'm gonna go into the crushed portion here. Swatching this, you guys, I know this is supposed to be like so innovative. It's kind of chunky. Like I actually like just the standard highlight in here better, but this is what the magic was all about. Do you, do you see that? So I'm gonna go in and try it out. That is really pretty, but it definitely does bring out some texture and pores and anything that has a visible micro glitter in it will tend to do that. I mean, but dang, that is a highlight. I'm gonna take the lilac shade right here <laughs> and I'm actually going to kind of go a little bit on the lid with it. I just fluffed all over on my lashes. Nice work, Tanti. Yeah, that's a very subtle, subtle type of a highlight. I actually really think it's pretty. 
Ooh, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna take a clean brush. I'm using a Morphe M501, and I'm gonna go into the Glow Lilac just because, like, screw it, we're already here. This is what the video is, and let's just see what this looks like on the face. Snap. I hate that. What did I just do? All right, you guys, this is really beautiful. I'm already having a few slight issues with it. I do wanna tap on some of their top coat. I have a duochrome top coat right here that I did kinda of wanna put over top of my eyes. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that just in the center to add a little glow ever so slightly. I am definitely glowing and blushed and flushed and I have so much highlighter on. I actually added a little bit more to my inner corner because I wanted to test out this formula right here. I don't love it as much as I thought I would immediately love it. I thought that it would be something so different, like almost like a wet metallic. I don't know what I was expecting. Um, pure magic, clearly. So let's just go through the swatches of this product. We will start out with the palette that I have on my face, Diamond and Blush Palette number one. We'll start Start with the top row, we have Diamond, which is a gorgeous cream, Blush, which is a more pinky toned blush once it's actually applied. And then we have the Glow Shade that I actually think is gorgeous, but on the eyes, I wouldn't wear it on the face. Then we have the actual Diamond product. This is like what the palette is all about. This is the Diamond Powder. It kind of feels like to me, a giant pan of the more sequin shades from Tom Ford that I love on the eyes, but I don't know how crazy I am about the texture on the skin on the face. And then we have a powder blush that matches the cream blush. You can wear you know, the cream underneath the powder and really give a lot of wear time to your blush. So that is something that you can do. I personally don't like cream blushes that much, so it's not, I don't know, it's just not necessary to me, but maybe some of you out there enjoy that. And then we have the bottom Glow Extreme. This is really stunning, but I kind of feel like I already have a Natasha Denona highlighter that is very similar. Her highlighting formula is gorgeous, but you can buy just that and not the whole big kitchen caboodle. You know what I'm saying? So that is number one. This is number two, citrus. And of course, this shade right here is just so interesting. I actually do want to try it on the lids. We have the Glow Cream Base. We have a cream blush and then the Duo Glow. This is just so cool. I really do like this one, but I'm not gonna spend $89 or recommend that anyone spend $89 just for that one product. Then on the bottom row, we have the Diamond Powder, the Powder Blush, and the Glow Extreme. This is gonna definitely be for more medium to deep skin tones, and this one is going to be more medium to light. Um, but of course, it's makeup. You can play around however you feel comfortable. And let's take a look at the Diamond Eye Toppers. Now these I highly recommend. I have kept wearing these that I tried during that WTF where the palette fell apart. Oh my God, that was horrible. Um, but that was just the way it was packed in the mail the way the pigments are pressed, they were super soft, and I actually do really enjoy those palettes. It was just such a weird thing to have it completely fall apart, and that shouldn't happen. Like, it really just shouldn't. Anyway, moving on. These right here, the duochrome top coats, I have burnt terracotta. I have lavender gold and silver, which I think is so pretty. And then what I patted on top of my eyes today is the duochrome top coat in brown mauve purple. So these are really fun colors, really different. Add a little bit of that duochrome kind of color shift type of a feel with that glimmer that is just so soft and so flattering. No matter what your age is, you definitely can wear this product and I love it. That being said, I'm gonna get to my day, we'll do some close-ups, we'll do some check-ins, I'll vlog a little, and I will see you guys in a little bit. You guys, I don't know how I feel about this shirt that I put on to like match the Natasha Denona palette. Do you ever order something online and then you get it and you're like, what in the hell is this? The sleeves are just kind of weird, right? Okay, in the viewfinder, this highlighter is looking magical and gorgeous, and it has been on all day long. My sister seems to really enjoy it. I actually was like, oh, do you love this? And she's like, yeah, I love it. And then I'm like, would you pay $89 for this? I'm gonna show you guys my highlighter drawer. Let's do that so I can give you some other options. Obviously, you guys know I love this one right here. The Master Chrome Highlight from Maybelline. This is in rose gold. This is like a huge improvement. I now have two drawers filled with highlight. I know that is still crazy excessive. Um, but keep in mind, I review product for a living. So my favorites for highlight, 
definitely are. The MAC Extra Dimension powders are really great. Ciate makes a great highlighter. Laura Geller, Lorac, you guys know I'm obsessed with this one. I do also like the Kim Kardashian loose ones, Make It Forever loose powders, also really great. Then I have some liquids in here from Cover FX. These are really, really pretty. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna have my sister be the cameraman so I can swatch some of these. Yes, let's turn this big ass light on. <gasps> what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Answer me. Let me guess, you want donuts. Oh my god, why would that be the first thing that you would say when you pick up the phone? That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Am I on camera? Yeah. So I seem to have blown a circuit while trying to swatch highlighters. I really don't understand how it happened, but where's the circuit box? Where can I hit that sucker to get some lights back in here? Erica. Oh, no, I want to know how to change a tire. Why won't you just tell me? Let there be light. Who? Oh, oh, James fixed it. That's my man. <laughs> no, I'm laughing. What just happened? I'm sorry. This is... Can you put some gluten free ones on hold? Sweet. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. I would like and some it, too. Not gluten free. To God, if they don't have full fat free, I'm gonna literally like throw a tantrum. Just give me one of everything. Hey, I like, I like sprinkles. I like maple and bacon. I like crazy stuff. Oh my god, they have it too. You should look at their website because it's honest to god. We have like a half an hour. Donut website. It's called Donut Friend, and it's gluten free, and they have vegan options, and it's so good. They make it fresh there. They can make you like a sandwich donut and like put this stuff in the center. Oh, it's delicious. I can't take it. I just it. want maple. Oh, I'm a maple. true Canadian at heart. Oh, cookie butter. Okay. Oh, and limited editions. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Some oh. oh Angry Samoa. How many this is the best. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, rose water. See, I bet that one's really good. Just Lavender. Continue talking about Ooh, gluten. no five <laughs> spice. Ooh, five spice. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> you you don't like us talking about gluten, baby. How's my highlight? This never happens, you guys. I never, ever wait like several days to do my final sit down and give like my final thoughts on a product. But what happened with this right here, this Natasha Denona $89 diamond highlight and blush palette is, I didn't like it. I was like overpriced, not worth it. It's kind of chunky. I don't like the cream. And I was finding so many problems with this. And then my sister who was visiting kept complimenting my highlight. And she kept asking, what highlight are you wearing? Can I have one like that? Do you have one like that? And we were swatching and we couldn't find one with the same texture, with the same look. And I put it on her and she was like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. I love it, it's so pretty. So I took a step back and I wanted to do a few day wear test um, to really like get my final thoughts on this. And I have to say, I actually really love this. I'm wearing it right now. And the thing that has surprised me the most about this product is day after day, I have noticed that this is an extremely long wearing highlight. Now, the sad part is I don't like the blushes in here anywhere near as much as I love the highlights. So you are forking over a ton of cash for just highlighters. I wish that they just came in like a single or a duo pan. Like for me right here, the ones that I use are this and this, these two exclusively. I wanna show you guys in this one right here, the lime highlighter. I was just kind of playing around with this. I mean, do we see that? Oh! I mean, this is not for my like everyday life by any means. I would wear this as shadow, like maybe in the inner corner or something. Um, but if you're into this kind of a unique highlight, then you know what, go for it. There's nothing bad about it other than the god awful price and the fact that they don't sell these as singles. Come on, Natasha, help us out. We can't all afford $89 for these big, huge palettes, even though they're totally beautiful. Just lower the price just like a tiny bit so we can all feel a little more sane buying these items. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. That lets me know that you enjoyed it and I hope you're having a good one. I will see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.